Okay, so we're gonna try this again. So I literally just blocked this new number. It's Tyler Aller test Tyler Allen Testerman hitting me up from it, and uh, <clears throat> and like I got ban I got I got suspended for this motherfucker like calling him out for a delusional fuck that he is for me stating facts and and that's called bullying well look at this shit hey i seen you at wawa today walking around watch me tonight i'm fighting i'm a ufc fighter yeah sure anybody yeah sure they're gonna put a worthless piece of garbage like you on tv yeah you're really gonna get the crowd going yep yeah, so many people know you <laughs> I'm like, funny, I wasn't at Wawa. Shows how much you know. LMAO. Get a life, Tyler. Take it as a warning to look out for you, dumbass. You was removed from Wawa. I was like, you was flipping off Leon. That's who your retarded ass seen. You are brain dead. It's a wonder you even know how to breathe each day. I'm like, you're delusional. Only TV you be in is in your head. And then... I gave you the middle finger, and you are going to watch me fight in UFC tonight. Funny, I don't watch UFC, period. <clears throat> and uh, funny how he was giving me the middle finger when I wasn't even at this store. He said he was, like, like as he was flipping off whoever, I was talking to my boy Leon. He was flipping him off. I wasn't there. I was on the phone with Leon while I was at work when this shit was going on. So how am I at fucking Wawa when that shit going? That's how delusional he is. I don't think he can tell the difference between me and Leon now. <clears throat> and then he goes on with this Tony Montana bullshit. I'm Tony Montana. I'm unstoppable. Nobody can ever touch me. I want to come to your house and shove that phone up your ass. <laughs> Uh, I think, yeah, I was trying to say, like, you couldn't have gave me the, gave me it. I wasn't there. I don't go there like you do, and I don't work there, dumbass. I'm like, I don't care how many times you say you, Tony, you ain't nobody. How you like your suspension on Facebook, LMAO. I'm like, you are so touchable, you already been beat retarded. <laughs> And for real, for real, that's how stupid this fuck is. And I lied. I'm not in a mental hospital. I was by my house in that video calling you out. No shit, Sherlock. I already knew that. I was not born yesterday. I am not that easily fooled. Especially by such ignorant fucks like him like he just assumes that it, it, he thinks it so it had to have happened the way he thought it and it has to be positive on his behalf I'm like you are starving for attention bad attention is wait hold on wait, yeah. you are starving for attention bad attention is good as long as it's attention, because nobody wants anything to do with a loser like you. I know you was there, because I talk to Leon every day. I was behind my house the whole time. I made it up so I can get attention. <gasps> you don't say. And, and go and look at my post about that video he posted and I said that exact shit I can read this motherfucker I don't even have to be psychic or anything I can already like call this motherfucker's next move I was behind my house the whole time I made it up so I can get attention <laughs> I, and yet again yet again this police shit I got the police coming for you. I got the whole police department in my pocket. He literally said the other day, I'm going to I'm going to pull up all this shit cuz I'm saving all the numbers and whatnot. But um yeah, he he said that he pays a dollar a day for the police. Yeah, they don't work for cheap broke ass motherfuckers like you.
loser. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I know. I know you better than you know yourself. I know how people like you work. Which is where I was saying, I can basically predict his next step. <laughs> I'm like, that's why you go through all the time to keep making these internet numbers because you have so much free time. You are dying for attention. I was like, do shit or shut up. You started this shit. I'll gladly finish it. Go is find me if you can and I'll end it immediately because see, he wants me to come over there. Because he's already claimed that I stole pot from him that he originally sold to me. <clears throat> I got all the fucking text and shit from him asking me like, like, here's the list and whatnot from the place he got it from. Uh, what, what strains do you want? Which ones do you want? You know, I got all that shit. And he thinks that he can go and take all the text and shit and give it to the cops and that they're going to turn me into the criminal. No, dude, you're, my shit's going to incriminate you, so be, be my guest. Go share all that shit because you're the one that sold me shit, and it's not against the law to buy it. It's against the law to sell it, especially in his behalf. <clears throat> so, like, this motherfucker just thinks that, like, the world revolves around him, but clearly it doesn't because he lives at an apartment in Warwick, which is a really, sh I mean, it's okay, but, like, it, it's got a lot of crime and shit, so it's, like, the ghetto, in a way, so, like, <clears throat> and, like, honestly, if, if the motherfucker left his house more often, he would have probably already got shot and killed, no doubt, he would already probably ran his mouth to the wrong person in Warwick and got, you know, like, so... I'm trying to watch my shit because I'm going to upload this to Facebook. So, I'm not trying to violate any of their communist standards. And, uh, so, let's go to the next one. That's why you're about to be set up. I'm turning Montana. I'm a UFC fighter. Like, why did a doctor give this dumbass medical marijuana? Why do you give a schizophrenic pot? I don't think that's really going to help out the situation. I think that that's going to, like, agitate it and make it worse. I'm like, sure, you're going to set me up. And then he goes on to say, I'm not in a mental institution. I was behind my house. I didn't get attention. Everybody you know, I'm going to steal your friendship. <laughs> Yeah, okay, have fun with that. <laughs> like, that's why he, he's constantly trying to fucking talk to Leon. Yet, Leon did not answer him twice. And then the motherfucker goes, knocks Leon's phone out of his hand. And then gets up in his face, starts yelling that, Oh, he does drugs, he does drugs. And he literally got forcibly removed from Wawa. So I don't see how he thinks he's going to make anybody that associates with me his fucking friend. I mean, you're not going to intimidate people to make them your friend. I mean, that's a whole nother fucking ballpark shit that this motherfucker don't even realize that he's starting. Like, he should be in an institution, yo. And if anybody gets hit up from Tyler Allen, Tes Tyler Allen Testerman or Tyler Testerman, I would highly avoid that motherfucker like the plague because you don't even know what stupidity you're going to let into your life. Like, I've known this motherfucker for five years, and I knew there was a reason why I stayed away from him so fucking long to the point that I forgot, and then I started fucking with him now. He got all comfortable around me, and then that's when the lunatic came the fuck out, and I went through like two days of that shit, and I'm like, nah, I'm done. You know, like I, I tried to put it through my head. Oh, he's just misunderstood and shit. No, this motherfucker is full on brain dead. But yet he thinks he's fucking right. I mean, this motherfucker be calling me a Karen for like, like he was debating uh, the legalization and shit for laws in Maryland 
assuming that just because they passed a bill on a day that that's the day that it fucking legalized. And I tried to explain to the dumbass, like, that's when they voted on it. But the bill is not going to be active until after this date. But I'm the Karen. No, if anybody's a Karen, it's the motherfucker who thinks that the world revolves around them, that whatever they assume the, 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 the shit should be, that's how it's supposed to go. That's what a Karen is, not somebody that's going to state the shit in, that, like, state the laws that I did not create. Others fucking created. If, they, if I had any doings behind it, there wouldn't be no laws against fucking pot, and it'd be fully fucking 100% legal, you know? So how can I be a Karen for depicting the laws correctly, trying to get his dumbass to understand them? So, back on to this shit. Yeah, I'm like, yep, I'm, sen- I'm sending you up. That cost me banging at your door. And I'm like, that's why the other dude you threatened to have come my way said, keep him out it. You're a loser, a nobody. You ain't gonna fake it till you make it. You will always be fake. Uh, be a fake fuck. A worthless piece of garbage. And you're gonna die alone. No one will be at your funeral. But I will piss and shit all over your grave after. <laughs> and I was like, must be banging like a bitch. I ain't hear nothing, Felicia. <laughs> and then he tries to say that he's homeless here. I'm homeless and I'm going to see... I guess he meant I'm going to sue you for everything. Sue me for what? You can't just say, oh, I'm going to sue this person, take them to court, and, and just do it. No. They, uh, if you don't have a true reasonable cause, the courts would never even let you file the paperwork, let alone even attempt to get that court date filled. <laughs> but apparently the, the, the law works for him, though. And you see, everything works for me. I'm like, how about you stop making up shit because just because you make it up doesn't make it an actual fact. Like I said, do something or shut the fuck up. I'm not your friend and I will never forgive you for what the fuck you did. You're worse than a thief. And I'm like, no, nothing works for you. That's why you still live off of mommy and the government. You loser, wake the fuck up, dumbass. I'm like, that's why you don't got nobody. Not a girl, not a friend. Once mom is gone, you ain't gonna have shit. You ain't gonna have a pot to piss in. You might as well fucking live full time in the loony bin, dumbass. And then here he goes again. I'm living in the streets and I'm going to, I guess, sue you for everything you have. I'm taking every message you sent me to the cops i'm getting you for frightening me and you're going to lose everything and i'm like sure you are and i believe that why you was driving around in mommy's truck and i know damn well you don't have your own <clears throat> you in court soon fat chat shit that's why the cops work for me and you ain't nobody. The cops came to your house and you wasn't even home. If you was, you would have took you. Yeah. I guess this is just another delusional delusion that he's dreamt up because... <sighs> I, like, I really wished that we could put people down like this, that like put them down like rabid animals, you know, put them to fucking sleep like a damn animal because like what, what could this possibly bring to society? And I'm like, sure, all my message, message is gonna do is incriminate your dumb ass. There ain't no way imaginable there could ever be a court case except for me putting a restraining order against you. Because no way you're the one that wanted to start calling me. I, I, I mean, I'm like, you're the one that 
wanted to start calling me a thief because I bought weed from you. That's not a crime on my end, dumbass. That's a crime on your end. And know what? People don't buy weed just to hold it and look at it. You'll buy it and smoke it. And what's your proof that I stole shit? You don't have anything. I got everything. You've admitted to everything because you're so damn stupid. So shut up with the cops. Go beat your own damn head in because you're fucking too stupid for your own good. Okay, for your own goddamn good. You're just a fucking annoying little punk ass bitch. That's all. Barking, no fucking bite. <clears throat> and yeah, I'm real stupid enough to come to you so you can continue to play the victim. Now, if you want to fucking one-on-one, -on -one, you gotta find me, bitch, because you've already threatened my life. So please, if you ever show your face at my house, come in my house, because that gives me the fucking house doctrine to where I can use, I meant use, but of course, fucking voice to text never fucking understand you. They just use it to listen in on us. Gives me the fucking house doctrine to where I can use lethal force. So please fucking bring it. I beg you to fucking bring it. But you won't, bitch, because you won't be able to play the victim then. You're dumb. Fuck you. Can't be the bad guy and the good guy simultaneously. This is not a movie, is what I meant for it to say. Uh, this is real fucking life, and you apparently cannot tell a fucking daydream from reality. You are so fucking brain dead, it's a wonder you even know how to breathe. Yet again, I'm untouchable, the world works for me, that's why I'm about to take your house from you. Funny, because it's not my house, I live with fucking family. And if you had a fucking case between me, you don't get anything that my family owns, so you wouldn't take anything. <laughs> That's why you're adopted. I'm getting no bitches. No one loves you. You're a fat piece of shit. That's like, dude, like he literally fucking paste and copied some of my shit. Because some of this shit I ain't even fucking read. Because some of this shit just popped up right after I fucking, like... Because, like, at this other part, not the part where it's like, that's why you're adopted. I guess I ain't getting no bitches. No one loves your fat piece of shit. Okay, not that part, but this next part. This part. That's why you get no girls. The only girls you get in your hand. I'm going back, daddy, pimp, pimp. Let me spell it out for you. I get head every night before I go to bed. No, he doesn't. <laughs> oh, my God. He's such a fucking loser. <laughs> I'll post some photos of his dumb ass on my shit. I actually got some in my section is me, Leon, and his dumb ass. Like, this dude is so fucking delusional, man. Not even a man. Like, not even a dude. Like, huh, he's a fucking hypocrite. Like, he, he's a compulsive liar. Like, and yet again, you know, that's why I'm a UFC fighter. And when I see you, I'm going to smack your phone and beat the living shit out of you. That's why I'm a homeless U USC fighter and make billions of dollars. Yeah, if you made billions of dollars, you wouldn't be homeless. But therefore, if you was homeless, why would mommy still be letting you drive her trucky ride around all the time then? Like he was this morning when he kept on driving by and flipping off my boy Leon. But yeah, he's really going to fucking take my friends and turn them against me. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god but like like the shit is said you know if you don't see it 
you can't believe it. You know what I mean? Like, this is one of them types of shit. This is honestly the worst fucking person I've ever known in my life. I thought some of the girls I thought that I've dated in the past was bad, but like, like, because of their lies and shit like that. But no, this motherfucker is like the biggest liar I've ever known in my fucking life. And he's always got to turn it around to fucking that he's the victim somehow. Like, like he's trying to act like this leftist shit, I guess, thinking that that's going to get under my skin more. I could care less what the fuck he does. He needs to go hang it the fuck up for real, though. Like, he serves no purpose in life. (laughs) And so, go on and know what it's so much quicker and simpler to block your numbers than it is to make them. And that just shows how much of a life you really fucking have. You don't. So, you'll spend every waking hour... Oh, wow. Okay. (laughs) This one was a really long one. (laughs) Okay, so let's start out here. And know what? It's so much quicker and simpler to block your number than it is to make them. And that just shows how much of a life you really fucking have. You don't. So you'll spend every waking hour obsessing over something that's not even real just because you want to fucking claim it happened. You got to have proof, fucker. You're just like Joe Biden, fucking all accusations, thinking an accusation is evidence, and it's not. Know what? I'm going to contact your doctor because that bitch doesn't deserve to have a medical license if she thinks weed is going to help out a schizophrenic ass, and I think it fucked up some shit. Uh, bullshit. I was trying to say, like, like, what did you go to rehab for? How do you go to rehab for medical marijuana and continue to be allowed to smoke it in there? You know, like he he really doesn't put rational lies out there. All of his fucking lies are irrational, like totally out there, totally unbelievable. Like, um... I was like, because you can't, and you never was, and I can see through every fucking lie, because none of your lies are rational. They're all above the top and stupid as fuck. More stupid than your fucking face. And I wish you fucking died. I wish you fucking get shot. I wish you fucking ran over. But if you ever fucking step foot onto my property, it's going to be the last fucking thing your fat, pathetic, low-life scumass ever fucking does again in this whole goddamn universe. I will own your fucking soul. Neither will it go to heaven or hell. I will save it for my ultimate personal fucking hell that I'm going to torture all you bastards in the afterlife. I was like, Satan won't have shit on my hell, and God does not protect fucking fake religious people because he knows you're fake. He can see through it. You think you're smarter than him. That's a fucking sin in itself, and that'll fucking send you, send you to the fiery depths of hell just for that. You're faking every aspect of life. Every fucking last little thing out of your mouth is a fucking lie. So go ahead, show that text to the cops because it's you fucking threatening to kill me. You've already admitting to do the shit, admitted to doing the shit, and then you want to claim that I stole shit after you fully out admitted to selling it to selling it, you stupid fuck. So go on. My fucking shit is going to do me justice, and it's not going to work out how you think so, dumbass. So how about you stop running that big flabby mouth of yours and do something, bitch. So then he's like, you're just a hater. That's that I'm a UFC fighter. And then I was like, not like, I don't know, it's you, Tyler Allen Testerman. And I'm like, you're the fucking hater because I don't want to be your fucking friend. And put up with your verbally abusive ass. 
you couldn't even handle it on the streets if you actually went out to the streets on your own. You would fucking wind up getting, and apparently it fucked up my shit again, wind up in a back alley with some fucking meth head raping your fat ass. And I'm like, the UFC doesn't, <clears throat> doesn't fucking take losers and that's exactly what you are you couldn't even pass a fucking lie detector test you delusional fuck and I, I was trying to call his ass and I was like scared to pick up honey it's not like I don't know it's you Tyler Allen Testerman watch me fight tonight I'm on UFC fighter I'm like the fuck dude he don't even know how to talk I was like I wish you could come by my house because you're fucking because your fucking end of your life would be set in stone. Your loser ass does not just get in there that fucking easy. Goodbye, Felicia. You are living in your fucking brain because you're not living in reality. And even if you didn't get in UFC, well, I mean, even if you did get into UFC, you would fail. You would get your ass destroyed. I'm like, you ain't nothing, Tyler. You don't even work out. You barely can fucking breathe coming back from the kitchen, let alone fight anybody on the street or the fucking UFC. You delusional fuck. The best... Well, I can't say that because I want this on Facebook. (laughs) And then he's like, I will and I won't do a damn thing. I'll walk in your house, eat all your food, and wipe my ass with all your clothes and smack your mom and grandfather. See, man, I wished he would because he wouldn't have a head on his body. He wouldn't have a fucking head on his body. And when I get down to the video, you'll see what I'm fucking talking about. And I'm like, yeah, headless fat ass can't fucking eat. I was like, why don't you stop threatening me and come try, bitch? You won't. You're a pussy. I'm like, pussy, 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 pussy. He then he starts going, you're a fat fuck that can't even fight. You're handicapped. I'll beat the shit out of you and I'll run you over in your car. So here's my video. Yeah. Come into my fucking house. See how it ends, bitch. I give you. Oh, uh, I don't even know. Yeah. If- Come but, into my fucking like, house. I will chop See his how head is, off for bitch. real, for real. I. That's all I need to show on that. And I'm like, I'm half your weight, fat fuck. So please break into my house, cause it'll give me the reason to use lethal force, and I won't never have to hear from your fat ass again, and nobody will ever again have to put up with your shit, and you won't rot away in jail, no. I'll be calling the coroner's office because I'll have full fucking legal ability to destroy your fucking life. Then he goes on to say, oh, nobody's scared of you. I'll I'll walk in your house and push you to the side and sit on your couch. You won't do a goddamn thing. I wish this motherfucker would stop talking shit and do shit. It's like nut up or shut up. But he can't nut up because he ain't got none. And I'm like, coming from the one threatening to end me, come come over here then, pussy. Try it. See how it ends for you because you want... Because you want all. You're going to do... Wait. Fuck, man. I, I hate fucking voice to text, yo, but it is a whole lot fucking quicker. <laughs> all you're going to do is sit and run your mouth and try to act like all everybody else backs out but you're the one that never shows up because you're a little fucking cunt and you don't know your daddy because he was just some random ass fucking john that paid your mom the fucking hooker ass pussy i was like so come on come ah, so come on come over on somebody else's property and see how you think you can own their shit just like that bitch see how well the fucking system works for you then 
And then he tries to fucking twist my shit around. Oh, you're all talking all... You're all talking all walk. Stop being an internet gangster. Stop being... Carrying, you ain't going to do nothing. You ain't scaring nobody. Like, now he's just trying to take my words and try to twist it around back on me. Because he ain't got nothing to fucking say. And I call him out on it. I'm like, don't try to twist what I said to you, you stupid fuck. See, that's how you're the fucking pussy. Why would I come over there so you can continue to play victim? I'm not stupid. I wasn't born yesterday. And I know how the system works a whole hell of a lot better than your fucking retarded ass does. And this is like basically near the end. Bye, Felicia. How about you? Okay. How about you nut up or shut up? That's right. You don't got none. But I'm not going to fucking keep arguing with you to give you the attention that you want because you're a loser. Why would I want to give you any fucking attention? I just want you to ant yourself. And then I'll come and spit and shit all over your grave. And then I didn't pay attention to this. You don't understand. I am the system. I've run this town. Aberdeen is mine. Yeah, that's why you just moved in like two months ago, huh? And if if you ran the shit, why ain't you living in a big old mansion? Why are you stuck to a bedroom in your mommy's two-bedroom apartment? I'll even sit on your couch while you're calling the cops, and I bet they won't do nothing. Oh, I'm a drug lord. My mom turned me in, but I got right back out because the cops work for me. You ain't nobody but a fat fuck. I'm like, have fun making new numbers. And know what? Don't... Uh, I was like trying to say, don't say I didn't tell you so. When you keep pushing your luck at Wawa and you get your ass arrested for trespassing, see how well that works out for you. See how well you get them people... See how well you get to sue those people for putting their hands on you to remove your retarded ass from the property. But don't say I didn't tell you so, you stupid fuck. Because nobody can tell you anything. Because you think the world revolves around you and however you expect it to work. But it doesn't. And I'm not a Karen. You're the full definition of a Karen because... You think the world works as you say. I try to explain the shit to you as the fucking law gets put down. There's a big difference, dumbass. But as well, you're a fucking Karen, so you won't fucking know that difference because you just think it's all about you. But that's why you're not living in a mansion. That's why you're living in a fucking deadbeat gutter-ass fucking apartment complex and not in a big fancy fucking house driving all the exotic cars and that shit because you're nobody i just wish your dumb ass would finally get that through your head <clears throat> and i was like if i knew you were such a bitch like you are i would have never a fuck fucking hit your ass up ever a fucking again i knew you was a pansy ass bitch you're fake you're fake you're the fakest fucking person i've ever met met in this fucking world but yeah if you don't see it you don't believe it I guess or however the fuck that saying goes but this is the fuck what's the right word for him raging lunatic that I've been having to deal with for the last what two months now bought a little bit of weed from him that he got from the dispensary and the motherfucker wants to try to claim I stole it just because I wouldn't sell him a little bit of fucking dabs and I don't sell I smoke why did I come to you if I needed weed if I had shit to sell there ain't no fucking point in that that's how fucking retarded this dumbass is But he thinks he's so goddamn untouchable, but yet I don't see him anywhere here. Fucking coward ass motherfucker. But yet he'll try to fucking make himself look like the 
victim or the bigger guy or whatnot. He's so fucking stupid. I've posted up a video. You'll have to scroll through my page to find that shit. But, like... He's the worst liar, honestly. I, I've known so many people that that are pretty good at fucking lying. This guy couldn't lie his fucking way out of shit. It's, it's amazing that God even allowed people to be so stupid. It's a wonder. It's a wonder that anybody's even fucking able to be so stupid. It's fucking amazing how stupid people are. I thought I seen the worst, but that is the fucking worst. Like, you think these fucking far leftists pushing these fucking lies and shit and just fucking repeating them. You think those are fucking bad. They have... N they at least make more sense than this stupid fuck. Yeah, you're really gonna get me... Sue me for... Scaring him. Yet... He's the one that hit me up. And all I said to him today, earlier, was when he was over at Leon's work. And I'm like, keep it up and you're going to get your ass locked up. But somebody needs to take, like, in this motherfucker. I, like, I wish he'd come over here and come in the house because I could really make that fucking quick. I could really fucking make that quick. And he's not going to have his head on his body when I get done with him. You know, fuck. I could even go sling blade on his fucking ass. You know? Hold on. Finger in the way. I could even go sling blade on his ass. Fucking blade from a lawnmower. <laughs> but I tell you, you won't have a fucking head when I'm done. But it just, I mean, it aggravates me some because I just wish the bitch would actually do something or shut the fuck up. Stop trying to say you're going to do all this shit. Because, honestly, I think I got enough on him to get him for uh, something, like, for at least harassment to a degree. I don't know. Especially with all the death threats that he said. All I've told him was this hang it up basically which I can't say the exact words that I say in the text because of Facebook's communist policy but I'm gonna wrap this up so yeah I'm out deuces <laughs>